what is receptor receptor is any macro molecule what it is it is any macro molecule macro molecule or complex of macro molecules complex of macro molecules right in old time we used to say that such receptors are generally protein receptors yes this is right generally these receptors are proteins or peptides but some of the receptors are not proteins or peptides like dna dna is a macro molecule of course it is not protein and some of the drugs directly act on the dna for example alkylating agents right anti cancer drugs some of the anti cancer drugs directly act on the dna so for those drugs dna itself is a receptor right that is why now we have changed the definition we don't say that receptors are proteins we say they are macro molecules which may be proteins which might be dna or that might be rna or any other big molecule or complexes of big molecules is that right so receptors are macro molecules or complexes of macro molecules which have special two functions they should have at least two two functions, two functions or rather i should say two functional domains they should have two functional domains right two functional domain mean there should be one domain for example if this is a receptor let's suppose this is a receptor right and okay now if this is a receptor one one site of the receptor one domain of the receptor should be such that where a specific molecule can bind and that molecule which can bind here let's suppose this is the molecule which can bind here such molecule which bind with a special domain specific domain of a receptor such molecule is called ligand binding domain what is this this is ligand binding domain how do we define ligand ligand is a substance which binds with the receptor and brings a conformational or functional change in the structural and functional change in the receptor to produce some biological response what is ligand ligand is a substance which bind with the receptor where it bind with the receptor at the ligand, ligand binding domain at the ligand binding, binding domain. domain right and once it bind here it is just like this you irritate my pull my ear and i will you might be kick you if you pull my ear so your hand is the ligand my ear is the ligand binding domain and the kick i do or response i do that is biological response is that right okay for this simple thing we can say when ligand bind over here right whenever it brings its tongue and start tasting the things around so it is other functional domain first domain was ligand binding domain right second domain is effector domain what is it okay i will make it like again this is okay specifically what is this ligand binding domain right where you can bind some ligand now this ligand maybe a hormone maybe a neurotransmitter maybe a drug right so many so hormones or neurotransmitter or drugs they usually go and bind with the receptor at which domain ligand binding domain and in response to that binding receptor undergo a conformational change under st structural and functional change it undergoes a modification and result of that modification will be that when it binds ligand binds and other domain is activated right yes. or inactivated there is some change right this change is this domain is called effector domain effector domain so basically what is receptor receptor is 
a macro molecule or a complex of macro molecule right which ha which should have at least two minimum functional domains two functional areas one ligand binding domain other effector domain you remove remove it tongue goes in you put it here tongue comes out right so you understand it so is that clear now i will ask a question to you plasma proteins they bind many things plasma proteins like albumin pre albumin and others they bind many hormones and even they bind very many many drugs are plasma proteins receptors yes doctor they are receptors okay do you what do you think they are receptor or not receptor say yes or no no confusion no why they are not receptors they are binding a substance they don't have to excellent he is saying that plasma protein okay let's suppose here is the plasma protein plasma protein may bind many things but it does not under it does have binding domain but does not have a factor domain plasma proteins do bind many substances but plasma proteins once they bind a substance usually they don't undergo any conformational change and they don't have any effectors effector domain. domain and usually when substances bind with the plasma proteins they do not produce any special or specific biological response so it is just like that that plasma protein is that you are doing like this but there is no response so just have so everything which in the our body every macro molecule in our body which can bind something right but does not undergo any conformational change and done does not produce any effector biological response that thing cannot be called receptor so plasma proteins are just carrier of hormones or carrier of drugs or uh, we can say they are drug binding uh, they are binding to the hormones and many substances but plasma proteins do not produce any once a substance bind with the plasma protein usually plasma protein do not produce any specific response so what i want to hammer in your mind that to be a receptor it should have minimum to minimum two domains two special points at its number one two special qualities number one ligand binding domain and effector domain and effect is produced is that clear right now there are many types of receptors right we'll, we are again i'm saying that we are concentrating only on the bio receptors in biochemistry and pharmacology physiology right now receptors are many types of the receptors i will just talk about their broad categories and then i will go back in detail of g protein coupled receptors yes you have a question uh, yes sir uh, actually you said that the receptor binds and then produces a, a, a biological response so when this response being limited to the cell only or when it goes to the, the whole system uh, i'm going to tell you actually he he asked me a very important question he says that uh, when ligand bind with the receptor and i'm saying that uh, there is a biological response is is this biological response only on cell answer is that if it is a cellular receptor if it is on cell membrane or receptor is in the cytosol or receptor is in the nucleus then of course there will be change in the cell but if many change many cells undergo changes of course that may produce some biological response which might be cellular or might be systemic right multi system like adrenaline epinephrine norepinephrine when the, uh, epinephrine or norepinephrine is injected in the body or dopamine their receptors are present on multi organs and multi systems so they will bring the changes in cells of multiple organs and systems and multi systemic response can come so minimum receptor upon binding with the ligand can produce cellular changes and maximum it can produce multiple multi systemic biological changes it depends on what is the ligand ligand and what is the distribution of the receptors on the tissues and how they are responding is that right yes. 